Hey, Joe's going to tell you hi. Hey, no, you're <laughs> fine. Go right ahead. No, I want to take a drink. So. Okay. Uh, Dave and Joe Liberty Stand. Tune in. Check us out. Uh, share the post if you like it. Uh, there's a problem with the no, screen. No, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that sorry. was Dave. That's, a, that's Dave's representation, a glass of ice. That's my excuse if I'm not that great. With liquid so, uh, in it. Yeah. So in Born This Way, part two, bottom line. Here's what, okay, bottom line, we were about to say. <laughs> so. <laughs> Go ahead. No, what, and I told you this. I um man we're all individuals okay. and it's such a super great thing that we are it's so that's what makes this life for everybody great mm -hmm. uh, um man we got all got our own deal whatever it is we all got our own problems we all got our stuff and everybody around you does and you know people and you accept them or not as your friends or family, <laughs> that, you know, that, that has these, whatever it is, and. Um, what do you mean, whatever? What is their your struggles, their problems? Their struggles, their problems, everything, everything, okay. baggage. Uh, right. We all, yeah. We all got. Right, right, right. You know. Okay. I mean, uh, you and I've talked, and I don't want to get too personal on for the whole world to, to hear about or whatever. But well, I'll just say because I've never been shy about talking about smoking and drinking and. A lot of people get annoyed with me about that, and uh, well, what do you mean? A lot of people get annoyed. It's like, like who? Fam family and friends? You mean? Is that what you're saying? Family, friends, people at restaurants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. Okay, so you can be annoying in public. Huh? Uh, but uh, but I don't. I don't care. But um. But anyways, everybody has I, their thing. But I. Right? I, I think. Okay, the whole drinking, th okay, the cigarette thing, I didn't smoke till I was 21 years old. I did not on a regular basis. You know, when I was a kid, I did it with the neighbors and they stole their parents' cigarettes. And that's what you do. You're hiding out and that's kind of fun, you know. Well, and back then, and, I mean, smoking and, was, and it was, was all cool. over it was the place. Okay. Everybody was doing it. Was it. it was in TV shows sure. and movies. Sure, and, and some doctors, four out of five doctors said that was uh, good for you. But, uh, oh, really? Oh, no, wait, that's... Um, Okay, the, so the bottom but, line. No, the bottom line is. Okay, we all have our but, baggage. Well, no, I didn't. I just started with the smoking thing, but with the drinking thing, I always liked to drink, and I always wanted to since I can remember, and I always wanted to, and and, and I got to tell you, I've been, I've told you this before, other previous shows. I can quit that whenever I want. I and I have, and I've I've quit for over a year, uh, for several reasons, uh, legal health, different things that's happened to me. And uh, that's not been a big deal. I did not enjoy that. I didn't like it and I wanted to do it, but I could do it and it was no big deal. And uh, well, it was, it wasn't a, I didn't have to cheat, let's put it that way. But um, smoking, I don't think I could do that. Everybody's different and everybody has their inclinations. Mm -hmm. And I really truly believe right. And I've known a lot of homosexual people in my life that have been friends of mine, that have been acquaintances of mine. It's, and I truly believe, it's like when, I, when I'm hanging out wherever I'm at and I see a pretty girl and I'm like, she's pretty, I'd like to be with her. I truly believe that guy can't, that's a thought in my head. I, I can't get, you know, that's what I think. That's. And my body's reacting to that. Well, <laughs> and I think that it's the same thing for the guys that I, I do. So I don't know how to judge these people because I don't believe right, it's right. just something. I do believe it's hard to judge. And I'm not God and I'm not going to try. I don't. If you don't, goes back to Jefferson with the Constitution. that neither breaks my leg or... or uh, Fix my pocket. It's no concern of mine. So you know, uh, I don't care. You know, don't hit on me, but do what you want, man. You know. I guess I went the way well, long. Well, and rep, I, uh, way one thing I wanted to say, which I think is key, and I, I was listening to a message earlier today, the the power to overcome our temptations, our struggles for any person. We can't do it on our own. 
and only you know by the power of the living God in me can I can I do this? Can I, I just like I mean you just said uh, you know kind of you. Uh, your thought life, okay, because a thought will come to my mind, like you were saying, you saw see a pretty, a pretty girl, woman, you want to be with her, and right, or right. if it's if you struggle with same sex right. attraction, it's an attraction. It's I mean, there's attractions to alcohol, there's attractions to drugs, there's, there's attractions to physical, uh, uh, you know, persons, people, other people, like we just said. But the thing is, do those attractions drive us or? Or, or define me or you know what defines a person I guess I mean do, do I want to be driven by the like every single feeling I have do I want to do is that the way I want to live my life or do, you know and, and and when I do go after those things are those is that really freedom the freedom to go after that woman and go be with that woman hey, and I'm get not married I, I'm but listen to life, get man. what I want is that really in a freedom or is it more of an entanglement? Because does our sin actually, is it free? I mean, is does it, or does it keep us in bondage? I mean, that would be something I would question, you know, anyone. It just, but is, does, is it, you know, and I did mention the word sin. And, and so, you know, because with God, again, we've talked about this, this line of measurement of what's right and wrong, um, you know, so that rule line, okay, why, okay, why is something, if we, if we do determine something is sin, what does that mean? To me, the first thing comes to my mind is that it, that's hurtful, it's wrong, and when something's wrong, like when you're younger, and your parents said, don't do this or don't do that, why were they saying that? Seems like a punishment. Well, it seems like a punishment, but why were they saying it? Because it was wrong. To protect you, <laughs> right? Because right? yeah. they didn't want you to get hurt. But see, the thing is, you, you have two you have two factors here. You have, uh, it's like the two angel, the angel and the devil on your shoulder, okay? So one one voice is saying, go after it, go get it, whatever you want. It, it's going to make you happy, right? He's a really tall guy. The other one says, yeah, the <laughs> other one says, you know, I have something better for you. It's just like in marriage. If, if we waited till we were married to uh to be intimate with the woman the only one woman we're supposed to or that you know god's you know only wants us to be married to one woman okay or one man if you're a female obviously you know or anyway his, or his old mentor yeah <laughs> but you know the thing the, and that even going back to that why why did god put limits why do parents put limits? We already discussed that. I mean, it's to, for safety. It's for protection. It's for, it's for our own good. But right. we believe a lie that this is going to make us happy. And I struggle with that. I struggle with things like that, too. There's things. I mean, we were talking about food for me earlier. Dave talked about alcohol. I, I struggle with going after food. It's something to comfort, to make me, you know, to, to satisfy. I'm not that little people. He's just that big. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, yeah. <laughs> So, well, let's wrap this one up. I think we probably, uh, at the next show, think, we're going to. I think we put, as you like to say, a bow on it. Yeah, so, let's uh, do that. Uh, and we'll be right back, you guys. Thanks so much. God thank bless you. you. See you next much. week.